Hey, you guys. Sorry, I am late. Let me see if I can. Oh, I know why it's not working. Sorry. <laughs> I had my lights uh, turned a little bit different way because I was taking some pictures. And it is very, well, it's raining outside, so it's very um, muggy outside. So I don't have any light coming in from outside. Um, let me see here. Sorry, you guys. I swear one day I will just get on and everything will be good. <laughs> when that will be, I have no idea. But I'm going to brighten it up a bit. Is that a little bit better? I think so. Hi, D. Hi, Donna. Okay, so is the sound okay? I know the last time I think I had it for some reason on both my mics. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> um, hopefully you guys can see me and hear me okay. Hey, Stephanie. Sounds good. Okay. Because last time I think there was like an echo or something because it was on both uh, both mics. Hi. I don't know how to read Japanese, <laughs> but hi from Japan. <laughs> My uncle was just in Japan. He says he wants to move there. Everybody is so nice and it's so clean and um, hopefully one day I'll go. Hi, Kanak, how are you? Hi, lady in the tree. I want to order a small version of the jelly plate. So excited to see. I honestly, I'm like so excited to try this out, but I've been dreading it at the same time because I have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> to be honest. So, we really are going to just kind of play around. And I, this morning, about an hour ago, I finished, uh, if you guys watch This Is Us, I just watched the latest episode. I don't know why I did that today. Knowing that I had to be on the live stream, it just, that one just kind of messed me up a little bit. I'm always crying with that show. All right, so, um, I have a link, I believe, in the description of this video. Um, there is uh, different companies that make the jelly plates. So um, this is the one that I picked up because I thought it was fun because there's a larger one and then the circle, which I am really excited about, and then this smaller one. So that's why I picked this one up. Okay, Lady in the Tree, you, I am a big cry baby. I cry at commercials. I cry, like, I'm a big mess. <laughs> and that show always messes me up. I'm like crying and laughing and just, it's, it's a really good show. All right. Sorry, you guys, I didn't even open this up yet. So it's probably really loud. I apologize. Okay, they're so nice and clean. I don't want to mess them up. <laughs> okay, I think we might just play around with a smaller one today. Um, oh, it's so weird. All right, yeah, I think we'll just play around with a smaller one for now anyways. I could um, move on to the bigger one or the circle one. All right, so I have been watching a ton of videos. Where did I put all my paper? Oh, there it is. So I have tons of um, paint uh, and I have some printer paper, which a lot of people use, which is good because I don't have any cardstock. So I think I have some, but it's not uh, the greatest cardstock, but all right, I'm um, trying to think. I have stencils, I have paint, I have my brayers, I have water, I have uh, paper towels. I think I'm ready 
So, uh, yeah, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Let's start by taking this off. I think that's a good start, right? You know, I'm going to zoom in just a bit for this one because... Um, I should just leave my controls up for my camera, but I don't. Right. Let me move this up a little bit. All right. Can you guys see that okay? All right. And I have seen people use inks and all sorts of different things. You don't always have to use um, acrylic paints. So, but that's what I'm going to be using today. And this is my first time doing this. And I have, instead of using the impasto paints, I think I'm going to use these. I picked up a ridiculous amount of paints at Michael's a couple weeks back. And I think I'm going to try some of these out because I feel like I'm always using impasto paints and these are probably a little bit um, better to, or easier to, for, to get for some people and they're cheap. I think they were on sale, I can't remember. Um, favorite thing to use to make impressions is embossed cardstock. Hmm. Yeah, I am really excited about this because it's, it looks like so much fun. All right, I don't wanna mess it up. Do you guys are like that when you first get yours? All right, so I saw a little bit of paint goes a long way, so I'm not going to do too much. This one is, I don't know how to say that word, the Thalo turquoise. That's what this color is. And I need to work fast. Let's see, let's see, where's my white? Do I have a white? Let's do some gray. Or actually, I'm gonna do this manner blue. So I think those would go good. That's probably way too much, but we're just going to go with it. And, oh, there's my white. Oh, come on. All right. You can put Mod Podge or gel medium and make a pool, which will clean it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, here we go. We're going to do lightest to darkest. I'm just going to... Okay, this is definitely just like a beginner technique. So let me get my paper here, my paper towel. So I don't want too much of the other color to transfer. So I'm going to try my best to, this would be, this would have been perfect when I do the art journal pages and I want to do that gradient look. I need my bigger, where is it? Um, there it is. Well, we'll just do it this one for now. And then the next one I'll... Um, so yeah, this would be good for when I want to do my... Because I like to do a lot of like ombre effects. So this is so much easier already. You know what, I'm gonna switch to this one because it's bigger. Makes more sense. Um, what was that color? This one. Ah, that is way liquidy. I'm used to the impasto paints that they're very thick. So <laughs> that just came out way too fast. All right. It's gonna be another hot mess, hot mess live stream with Tiffany. All right. That blue is so pretty. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna try to save some of these so that I can use them for art journaling and stuff. And hi, everybody that's just joining. I'm sorry, I'm kinda just, I'm telling you that show messes me up. My husband laughs at me because I cry so much. All right. Oh, let's see, I'm too slow. All right. I'm gonna do a little bit more white. And that blue, where is that blue? All right. Trying to keep my brayer clean ish. Okay. So that is so cool because I really wish I would have had this when I made my art journal page. Um, Let's see, let's add some texture. I have lots of different things that I use for texture. Let's see if I can grab them out quickly, hopefully. All right, this is some drywall tape. Let's see. Oh, come on. All right, every other time I can just tear it off, but of course, all right, I'm just gonna lay this down. And let's see, I'm gonna use one of these that I already used or brayered on the other paint. Let's see if it works. It's moving around too much, I think. So isn't that cool? And then you can use this. Take this. Hopefully you guys can see. And because there's paint on that side, you'll get another impression. So if you are the type of person that doesn't like, like to waste anything, but you like to do art journaling and mixed media stuff like this, I think the jelly plates is definitely something that you probably want to want to get. I wish I would have gotten these a long time ago. And I do want to say um, I've been uh, um, what's the word? intrigued by the jelly plates for years. I just never got around to getting them or kind of intimidated by them, I guess, um, to be honest. And let's see, it's a little wet still, uh, but a card, a card day's work, Jess, I don't know if she's in here. I don't think I saw her. Um, a while ago she was doing, she used one for the first time and I was just super inspired. So uh, along with her and every other person that I have seen use them, that's why I got them. All right, I think it's a little bit too dry now. But I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, my brayers are pretty like inked up already, but never hurts to try to keep them a little little clean. All right. Um, let's see what's next. Let's see what else I have in here. 
Mm, I thought I had some bubble wrap, but you know, I think it's over here. Maybe. Maybe I threw it away when we moved. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. I am going to clean this off. All right. Um, Carissa, do you recommend using just like a paper towel? And because I know you do a lot of this. <laughs> do you recommend using a paper towel and water or is a baby wipe okay to clean it? All right, I'm going to just use water for now. I don't want to. You don't clean it, okay. I think over time I'll probably be the same, like just create and go and just kind of mix all the colors together. But for now, I just kind of want to give it a little bit of cleaning. All right. Uh, other thing you can do is, let me see. I had all these ideas because I was just watching the videos and of course, I am drawing a blank now. All right, let's see. I have, what's this color? Um, this color is navy blue. No, I wanted Prussian blue. All right, you guys know I love my blues and turquoise and teals. Stamps, stencils. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's why these have the little, I always, for some reason, even the Prima ones have the nozzle thing or the little squeegee part, but I always, for some reason, take it off. I don't know why. Okay. So lay a stencil on top, then add paint. Okay. So should I do... Okay, so let's do a stencil first. So no paint to begin with. Let's do, um, I'm gonna try to get it. Oh, let's do this one. This one's kind of cool. Okay, so stencil. Uh, Mary, no, it's like a gel. It's um, maybe Carissa, she's Inky Fairy Designs, can maybe explain it a little bit better. She is amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's like a gel. It's really, really cool. All right, so let's do some purples. My favorite purple is this aubergine. Well, yeah, let's do aubergine. All right, so do I add it to just like this? Maybe, is this dried? All right, I'm gonna add it over here. And I'm gonna pick up the color. And hopefully it stays-ish where I need it to. Okay, so then do I pick, I'll pick it up actually. So that's cool. And then of course you can just continue to add layers. I think that's what is really cool about this is that um, 
you can continue just to add and add and add. I've seen some amazing artwork done with the jelly plates. All right, I'm going to see if I can get some of this. Was that the one? No. Yes. All right, and of course, I don't uh, work fast enough. Okay, let's try this color. This color is Frosted Plum. It's a really pretty color. Okay, um, you know, I'm just gonna add it like this because I don't got time to take off that plastic. All right. Probably way too much. And it's going to go like this. And we're going to stick this down. And I'm going to clean off my brayer. I know. All right, should have done it on a different one. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That's just joining. All right. Hopefully this stays a little bit to get a little bit of that. Okay, and then you can go take this off. And you gotta work fast, which I kind of don't really. So you see that I got, um, cause there was paint on my stencil. So I it made an impression with it. And then I can even go back this way. Maybe that was a little bit too much paint, but the the layers of color and the textures, I think, is what's really cool about this. I think I like this. This is just so simple. It's just texture or drywall tape. And this is just printer paper, nothing special. Mm. Yeah, I'm such a noob with this. <laughs> That's all right, I'll learn and I'll get the hang of it. Okay, cheapest paint works great, but you can use any paint ink sprays. Yeah, I wanted to, to just pull out everything, but I think it would have just been a big, huge, huger mess. That's not even a word or a phrase, more huge. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I am an, I'm such... I just, I can't with this. It's like, I think that's why I was intimidated by it because I see it. It looks so simple when people are doing it, but like, I can't wrap my brain around some of the techniques that people use. Um, now that I have it, I'm like, how do they do that? <laughs> um, um, I really like that color. So let's do something else. Pretty sure I picked up that saying noob from my son. He's 12, so. Let's see. What else can we do, you guys? Let's take this cup. Well, let's.
I don't know why I don't really care for the way that acrylic paint smells. You know what? Um, I don't know why. Yes, I'm a noob at Fortnite too. <laughs> I really I'm wondering if I just have it too thick on there. What do you guys think? Right, Joy? That's why I'm like, what do I do? I am just so confused. I'm like, okay, it seems easy enough. Not. <laughs> Thin layers are best. Okay. So thin and you definitely just have to work way faster. All right. I need to. Do a second pull. You'll see it more. You'll see. Sorry. And you'll see it's more what you want. Okay. Gotcha. Then we got this, which doesn't, can't you layer another color on top? I think that's something that people do. All right. I was looking for my white. Just gonna add a little bit of white on top. See how this goes. But I think the second one, I think you're right. Well, of course, you know exactly what you're doing. Um, I'm going to use this one. And then I think the next one is what? I think that's what you're talking about. Do that with one of your blueprints. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think it's just too, too much ink or paint, I think. Still really cool. I mean, how cool would these be for backgrounds? Um, de -dum, de -dum. Let's see. Whoops, now I have my fingerprints in there. Okay, so are you saying to like change the colors? That's cool. All right, I'm going to use this one. Oh yeah. I think the possibilities are endless. I mean, I was kind of hesitant to get one because of the price, but I think it's definitely worth it. There's another blue one. You know, I'm going to try the circle one, see what we come up with. All right, I'm going to set this one aside. We'll try the little circle one. Um, let's see, what other colors do I have? I have, should we do brighter colors? Because I have some bright pinks, and then we can do it on the blue. I think that would be pretty. All 
right. Probably way too much paint again. All right, let's get another, let me see. See if I can hopefully find another stencil fast. Um, let's do this circle one. They were on sale at my Michaels the other day. That's why I got them. Or no, I think it was because uh, there was a 30% off coupon off your total purchase. That's why I got them. All right, let's do, you know what, let's add more to this one. Just trying to see if there's any questions. How cool is that? All right, I'm gonna look this up and I'm going to take what's on the stencil. You can't see, but I'm taking what's the paint that's on the stencil. Well, a little bit that comes up anyways. That's so cool. I don't know where that white came from, but <laughs> all right, let's see. What else can we do? Um, there's so many different things. I think um, let's try. I really like that pink with the blue, so let's try something else. Let's bring back this one. bring back this one and where that I think it was a primary magenta this is the first time I'm using these Carissa these deco art paints and I really like them they're a little bit more fluid than the impasto paints but I find that the impasto paints are just too thick sometimes so all right, I'm going to just spread it out instead of rolling it out. And where's that circle one? Contrast with white, yeah. I'm just playing around. I honestly will probably give these to my daughter so that she can kind of just do what she wants with them. All right, just trying to get up as much ink or paint as I can. All right. And let's do, well, I'm going to add a little bit of white to this one. 
just a little bit. And I'm going to spread it out instead of rolling it. And I'm going to use this. This is just one that I rolled. I'm going to lightly press on here. And then I'm going to use this one to get up that second. What is it called? The mono print? That's kind of cool. This is definitely for people that love mixed media and um, like to get messy. All right, let's do a little bit of this gray. This is Payne's gray. I should have written all of my ideas that I had. Um, it's a little dark, darker than I thought. Uh, I should learn by now that I need to do that. Gonna get another piece of paper. Let's try to find another stencil. Um, let's see. Come on, where is one? All right, so I have like two separate types of stencils. One that I just strictly use for mixed media stuff, which look like this. And then um, ones that I keep clean that I do not add any paint or anything to that I use just for card making for like ink blending and that sort of thing. And I'm trying when I can pick up an extra one of the ones that I really like for like um, if I have one for mixed media that I'm like, oh, this would be really cool to ink blend or use um, on, you know, for card making. And I try to pick one up so that I have it. So I have two separate ones, you know, right, that's kind of cool because you see like the pink. And then there's even that texture where I use this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and then some of the circles, it's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to add this, whoops. Just to keep layering. This would be really cool to put in the background of a, uh, art journal page or something. And the messier it looks, I like it. So I know, I know Mary is a clean card maker. <laughs> Uh, and Mary, if you're still in here, you got to go check out uh, Jess's channel. She's at a card day's work. She just started using the gel press or yeah, is it a gel press or plate? Uh, anyways, um, and she, as you know, is a clean card maker. All right, there's nothing there. And um, let's see, let's do some of this. Let's do a 
couple different colors again. There's my bigger one, there it is. Let's just put this down here. Oh yeah, see, because the acrylic paint reacts when you put more acrylic paint on top, even though it's dried on the plate, uh, it picks it up, which is cool. You know, it's funny, I, um, when I do cards, I have to really think about what I'm doing, especially if it's a cleaner card, which is weird because you would think, well, I guess it depends on how your brain works, but I find card making is a little bit more difficult than mixed media. And, um, I think people that do like uh, really clean cards. And um, I think that they have a harder time doing mixed media. So although I love both, um, and I did start off card making, stamping up to be exact. Um, um, wondering if you can make a print look like a galaxy. Okay, I saw um, Jess do this. And honestly, I can't remember how she did it, to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Have some violet. Oh, come on. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of violet. And what else? Blues. Um, gray. I'll do a little bit of this blue. I need another pink, like a pink or a purple. Um, and where's that? This one. All right, let's see. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, Ivy. Okay, let's get this. So I'm just going to lightly press, see how this works. Okay, I think that blue might be a little bit too blue. I added way too much. Um, pink. You know what? Let's do this one because this one has that pink in it. Just do that. And then. Yeah, Ivy, I, I don't know if I can help you. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's try to add a little bit more purple or pink-ish violet. That's what this color is. And I'm going to spread it around. Now, if you were to ask me to do watercolor galaxy, some things I just can't wrap my head around. I'm going to lift a little bit of that up. It 
takes me a little bit. Yeah, see, I need to figure out how to get it to be more, I guess, controlled in a way. So that it looks more like a galaxy. I do have some stars, a star, sorry, um, stencil here. And I knew I forgot something. I meant to get a water, like a bucket of water. All right, I have an idea. We're going to use the gray over top. Whoa, way too much. And All right, let's see here. You guys still with me? I'm just kind of trying to think about what I'm trying to do here because <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, is that Maria or Marissa? I think it says Marissa. Sorry, I don't have my glasses <laughs> and my screen's kind of far. Um, I clean, if they get like really bad uh, with like modeling paste and stuff, then what I do is I put them in a bucket and then, let's see. I don't know how this is going to work. Um, I have Goo Gone, I think it's what it's called. Yeah, it's like in a yellow tin, almost like a lighter fluid tin. And then um, I kind of just let it soak outside. That's, that's what I got for you. I can add some white splatters after it dries. <laughs> um, I'll definitely work on that Ivy for you. But Jess over at Card Day's work, she did one and it looks amazing. She did a really cute card. Um, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I leave it. So I use warm water and then I'll stick all the stencils in the bucket or the, you know, the bin, whatever I'm using. And then what I'll do is I'll squirt some of the um, the goo gone in there and then I'll just kind of let it soak and then um, all right let me think what I'm trying to say then after a little while um, I'll see if it's kind of coming off a little bit and I use a scrubber like a dish dish scrub or even like I have this one, it's green. It has, it's like a floor scrub, I think. I don't use it on my floor and then my stencils. It's specifically in my craft room for the uh, cleaning stencils. Um, if it's something like this, that is like a kind of like a generic design, not very intricate, I'll use a scrubber and I'll scrub it off. And then if I have to, I will lay down like uh, some plastic or something and then squirt the goo gone on top of it and just let it sit for a minute. If you're very sensitive to smells, you want to do this outside. Or if you're really, really, really sensitive to smells, I don't recommend doing using the goo gone. But that's what I use. So um, and then I'll use my um, palette knives to kind of scrape it off a little bit. And um Uh, yeah, that's what I do. Oh, thanks, Carissa. I definitely, um, maybe should have played a little bit with them before, but it was fun just to kind of see, um, just to kind of dip my toes in a little bit. 
Does that answer your question, Marissa? If you haven't done so already, I know maybe this video or this live stream wasn't as informative as you might like, but uh, if you could do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up, I'd really, really appreciate it. And I think I'm going to make some soup. It's really rainy outside. I'm just kind of kind of in a bland mood today. Can you guys hear my coffee maker? <laughs> my husband is making coffee. Well, my Keurig. All right. I had a lot of fun. I don't know what I'm going to use these for but it was a lot of fun creating them. Just kind of playing around and trying to see. Like these, I can definitely put some, you know, def uh, different print on top. Um, but I made quite a bit of them. So that one, I have some over here. I have some everywhere. There, I think honestly, the possibil the possibilities are endless for the gel press or print or plate. Um, so I mean, you can use inks, you can use um, sprays, all sorts of different things, and um, yeah, it's gonna be fun playing around and uh, using it for mixed media and stuff. I think I'm most excited because now I have an easier way to do my ombre effect that I really like to do <laughs> instead of kind of working it into that paper. This helps it just kind of go smoother. But all right, you guys, thank you for stopping by. Um, and again, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I really, really appreciate it. And all of the links will be in the description box. Um, and if you missed this one, this gel plate I'm using is from, um, is it from? Uh, Delusions Ranger. And it has three different ones. So it's a circle, this really long one, and then this smaller one. But all right, you guys, I am going to get off now. Thank you for kind of sticking around and watching me kind of experiment a little bit. Um, I am off to make some soup and I will catch you guys later. Bye.